Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So today we are solving question 7 from tutorial sheet 1. Yeah, so if you are looking for this question on YouTube, you simply just have to type this part here. Which is hash ts1 mean tutorial sheet 1 and then q7 for question 7. And then lmmu which is uh, the name of your university. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you can kindly do so. So that you don't miss out the videos that I am going to be uh, posting. Alright, so question 7 says verify the following by using the element method and um, we have B which says prove uh, prove that A union A intersection B is equal to A and then this is equal to that, this, that is equal to that. Alright, so let's quickly begin to solve the questions. Yeah, so um, this question they are saying uh, you verify the following by using element method so you can use a lot of methods to solve this but in this case they've specified that we should use element method okay so I'm going to solve uh, one or two questions from here and uh, the rest I'm just going to show you the procedure and everything how you solve them then the rest of the questions you will do them Okay, so let me start with this one, the first question. Okay, so if you've been given this question, the way it has been given, to say we have to prove the associative of, I mean the associative law, meaning this is equal to that. So we can say let x, we can say let the element x, let the element X be a member of uh, A union B then this same element let it also be a member of C yeah so we know to say after finding A union B union C, the answer that we'll get is X. So meaning X is a member of both A union B and C. So if if X is a member of A union B, so this X simply means that, um, okay, we'd say this X is either a member of this or this. So meaning here I'm going to use O, I'm going to put O R there. So meaning this is this can either be a member of A union B or uh, a member of C. So this X, if we say again that it's a member of A union B, it simply it simply means that X can also be a member of either A. So X is also a member of either A or B. So it can S it can either be a member of X, I mean of A or a member of B. Okay. So it can either be a member of A or a member of B. So if this is the case, we also know to say it is also or it can also either be a member of uh, C. So if X can be a member of A and it or it can also be a member of B or it can also be a member of uh, C this can also mean that this X we can also start from this other side because um, if I say to say if I say for instance to say uh, you can either belong to Mulungushi or Levi the, that's, that statement simply means that you can be on either Mulungushi or Levi meaning you can you can uh, you can choose to be anywhere so if we can choose to start from this side it co it can also mean that we can also start from the other side meaning uh this x can also be a member of either of either b union c so x can also be a member of a of b union c or it can also be a member of uh, just A, which is this statement there. A 
okay so if you take it in this way it can also be written now in the format which is well known as which is well known to be this one which is a uh, if x is either a member of a or a member of b you know, see then this can also be written as uh, a union then let me just write it in this format which is easy to understand this x can therefore be a member of uh, a union b union c which is just this so this is how you do uh how do you how you prove the sets using the element method let's quickly move on to the other part which is this part here so on this part you can also do the same except for intersection instead of using all you're going to be using and because it means the element is on both but for union it can either be on a or on b but for intersection if we say a intersection b meaning the element is in both a and b but if we say a union b meaning the element can either belong to a or b so let's uh, let's use let's solve this one now so when you say x is a member so we're going to say let x be a member of a intersection b intersection c so meaning uh, this x this x is a member of um, this x is a member of a intersection b so it's a member of a intersection b and it's also the, I, 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 and this same x is also a member of c so if this is the case then we know to say for a intersection b in the brackets there we know to say if this x is a member of a intersection b meaning this x is a member of a it is also a member of uh, b it is also a member of c as earlier stated so so if we know to say x is a member of a it's also a member of b which is also a member of c uh we can also write it to say this x is therefore a member of this x is therefore a member of a so we know to say if it belongs in both sets or rather let me say let me put something here if it's a member of b is also a member of c meaning we can write it as x is a member of uh, b intersection c since it belongs in both uh, b and c it's a member of b it's also a member of c so meaning we can write it as x is a member of b intersection c so now if this is the case if this is the case we can write this therefore as a we can write this x now as being a member of a intersection since it belongs to b intersection c it also belongs to a meaning it belongs to it belongs also to what to a intersection b intersection c so this is how you prove the the what is the associative laws using the element method so you can see to say we came from this and we are now in this other format so there are a lot of ways you can prove these uh, sets but here it was specifically uh, this question was specifically meant to be solved using the element method so let's quickly move on to the next uh, uh, question 
So this other question says, which is question 7b, it says prove that a union b, or oh, a union a intersection b is equal to a. So these things are simple, they are straightforward. So we use distributive law here. We're going to distribute this, we're going to put this together. And then in the other part, we put A intersection B. So we're going to start with, so let me just write this. We're going to start first by distributing this part, A union A. So we say A union A in bracket. Then intersection uh, A, we have A union A. And then intersection A union B. Okay. So A union A. So A union A is simply just A. So this one will give you a, and then you say intersection, and then, um, so this one, for me personally, I can call it an error, because uh, you ha they, they have not yet, uh, they have not specified uh, whether these sets are, okay, there are, there are no conditions attached to the sets A and B, yeah. But in this case, if they want you to find it to, if you, if they want you to find your answer to be A, then consider maybe, consider this condition to say, uh, this A union B are the only sets in the, in the universal set. Meaning A union B will give you, when you combine A and B, you get the answer which is the universal set. Yeah. If for instance, A and B are the only sets in the universal set so when you say when you mix a and b you come up with the universal set if that is the condition then here we say a union b will give us what the universal set and then when you find the intersection of a and the universal set you get your value to be a i mean you get your solution to be a if that's what they want you to find or if that is the condition to say there are only two sets in the universal set which is which are a and b okay so let's do the second part so the second part if, if, the second part is also the same so a union b here gives you what the universal set and then a intersection universal set you simply get a so same applies to this part here but this one at least is okay it's not an error these three are just okay just by looking okay so this one a minus b can also be written as what a intersection b complement so a minus b can also be written as a intersection b complement we put them in brackets and then we are going to have intersection we have b minus a which is just the same as b minus oh sorry b intersection uh, a complement so b intersection a complement so now since we have intersection throughout there is intersection there is intersection there there is also intersection there so meaning this can also just be written directly without putting the brackets it, it will still mean the same where we can say uh, this is a so we can just put the like terms together a and then intersection a complement intersection b complement intersection b so when you write them like this and uh, put them in brackets if you want but if you don't want you can you cannot put them in brackets you can just leave them like that so you're going to say a intersection a complement this will give you an empty set same applies to so we have that intersection same applies to b complement intersection b this will also give you an empty set so empty set intersection empty set you still get an empty set so this one is just okay okay so we move on to the next one so a intersection b union a minus b so this one you also solve it a simi in a similar manner as i solved three so you say let us repeat that we write that a intersection b 
in brackets and then we say union so a minus b can be written as a intersection b complement so let's see if this is going to give us a so we can um, uh, use what we call associative law okay not associative law this one is already distributed so we can just put it in that format which looks like uh, associative yeah so we can factor out the a intersection a intersection because a intersection and a intersection are common there so you can write them outside a intersection and then we open the brackets we just we've just remained with b union we've remained with b union b complement so I'll write my B union B complement there. So B union B complement will simply just give you a universal set. So B union B complement complement gives you the universal set, and then A intersection E you get A. So this one is also okay. Let's move on to this one. So this one says a union b minus a so a union b minus a this can be written as a union uh, b intersection a complement so we can distribute this we are going to have a union b we can have a union b in brackets and then intersection a union a when you distribute it this is what you're going to have oh sorry a union a complement so this is what you're going to have so we know to say a union a complement this will just give you a universal set so this is what we're remaining with a union b then intersection universal set so a union b intersection universal set you simply get uh, a union b as your answer a union b because we know to say any set intersection the universal set is just that same set so we remain we still remain with a union b as our solution so this one is also correct so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial See you in the next tutorial video. Kindly subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be um, posting on the channel. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.